Today we're going to be talking about what is misinformation being passed out there by a major outlet out of the UK. Uh, they're claiming that, I'm literally looking at the article like right here, the Nintendo Switch 2 could be unveiled as early as next week. And yes, folks, this is complete misinformation. And we're actually going to have a conversation uh, after we go over this about a broader viewpoint of how I cover stuff around here and why it is sometimes frustrating for me when people uh, accuse me of having a lack of journalistic integrity uh, based on my actual process. We're actually going to talk about it because you guys probably don't know the process that goes behind why I post what I post on this channel, uh, whether it's leaks, rumors, or actual news. And in the case of like yesterday when I told everyone that Mario Wonder had leaked and you guys should look out for it and people were saying that uh, no, it didn't. Actually, it did. Yeah, it actually leaked yesterday. But we'll talk about that in a moment after I remind you that, hey, we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So I'd appreciate if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and you know what? Go ahead and smash that bell icon to be notified of all future uploads. So yeah, I'm in my casual wear today, but you know what's not cool? Misinformation. And you see it here at the Express website. This is out of the UK, as you're noting the UK website. And it says, Nintendo Switch 2 specs, Con Nintendo's console is more powerful than you think. And then it goes on to say, it looks like the Nintendo Switch 2, and this is the key line, which could be unveiled as early as this week. And I presume they mean next week at this point. It says, you know, Friday, October 13th. Presuming they mean next week, because I don't think they meant it's being unveiled today. Anyways, we'll be able to match the power of the Xbox Series S. Ooh, this sounds like a tantalizing article. But as you go through it, it'll say new details emerged. No, no link to where those details are from. Uh, rumors, 2024 release date. Information has started the leak thick and fast. Um, look, as a thick boy, not sure I appreciate the uh, thick and fast remark there. Come on, Express. You can do better than that. <laughs> Anyways, um, as, you, as you see here, the latest report shed some light talking about Gamescom behind the event. Notice they're, they're not actually sourcing anyone here. They're, they're talking about the Gamescom news, which at this point is over a month old. Uh, yeah, according to uh, the editor of a Brazilian site, Universal Nintendo, you know, you could say his name, Necro Felipe Lima. Anyways, the new console will launch with an impressive 12 gigabytes of RAM. Again, this is old news, but it's fine. This is a major outlet. They might get to these stories a bit later, and the story's been out there longer and more easily to be vetted, so it's okay to cover this late. That's not really what I have a problem with. Uh, uses less than 16 gigabytes of RAM. It talks about the other platforms. In addition to a souped-up version of Breath of the Wild, Nintendo will allegedly demonstrate the power of Switch 2 by running the Matrix Awakens on the device. Switch 2 version of Matrix uh, you know, Unreal Engine 5 is said to have been running DLSS 3.1, Instead of 3.5, this is actually hotly debated. It is believed to be DLSS 3.5, but considering that he referenced uh, Universal Nintendo, he probably just got all this information off the tweets from uh, Necro Felipe Lima because he was the one who brought up 3.1. Anyways, this is all old news, right? We've, we've covered all this stuff, ray tracing, yada, yada. According to a previous report by Chinese site Money GA, a company called Hongzun is manufacturing metal cases for a Switch successor, which, yes, that absolutely is a thing out there. But again, you say where you're getting the information from, but you don't link to it, which leads to some doubt. The console will reportedly cost $399. $100 more than the price of the Switch. Switch 2 will have an LCD screen. Microsoft court documents speculate Switch 2 will have a 2024 release date and nothing. So, so, up in here, you said, which could be unveiled as early as this week? And then nothing in your article supports it being unveiled as early as this week. There is literally nothing in here. You just threw a tagline out there to combine with your title. It's misinformation. I'm not saying the information in the article is misinformation, although it's improperly sourced. When you're sourcing things in journalism online, you can't just mention where you got it from. You have to actually directly link to the actual articles and the information that you're referencing. He didn't do that, and I'm not here to put him on blast. Please don't go attack the guy or attack the outlet. It's just not great. And then on top of that, obviously, that, that tagline... I mean, I, I don't think that this is going to affect most hardcore Nintendo Switch owners that obviously follow content creators and other people that can clarify this stuff. But on a more general consumer level, like if my mom lived in the UK and she saw this, she might legitimately think the Nintendo Switch 2 is being announced next week, and that could affect her ability in her shopping this holiday season because she might be like, why would I buy people a Switch if Switch 2 is being announced? 
But it's not being announced this upcoming week. As far as we're aware, it is not being announced this upcoming week. And there is nothing in this article that even gives us the suggestion it's being announced this week. This is what we call obvious misinformation put out there to get clicks. This is clickbait. I know. There's that term. We talk about it quite a bit sometimes. And a, there's a lot of you out there that think I massively participate in it. And we've already talked about it in the past how we'll be changing up our titles. We're not going to be calling rumors leaks and leaks rumors. We're going to do a much better job clarifying that stuff in the uh, moving forward and all of that jazz. And that is stuff in the title. But I don't try to promise things that don't exist. I will never put out a title that says switch to could be unveiled or will be or might be unveiled next week and then in the video not even talk about that that is misleading misinformation and unfortunately it happens and i'm not here to uh, rain on anyone or make fun of people because that's not really what we do here i don't believe in attacking anyone but what's interesting is yesterday i put up my video which you guys saw even if you didn't you should go check it out it's a pretty good video and it talks about you know a triple a game coming to nintendo switch 2. it's call of duty of course because you know that deal is now closed so we can actually say hey call of duty is going to be coming to switch 2. but more than that it talked about the fact that Super Mario Wonder had leaked. And in there, I was really wishy-washy on my talking because I said, hey, I you know can't confirm this because I wasn't going to download a ROM. Uh, believe it or not, it's illegal, and I don't need to risk my career and pissing off Nintendo. So, yeah, I'm not going to download a ROM to confirm that, oh, this really is the ROM. But I can tell you what went into me making that video. So there were leaks already out there of the demo and stuff like that that I saw on Twitter, and then people were making all these speculation videos about the voice actor and uh, articles. And it turns out the voice actor for Mario was completely incorrect and is not what all those videos and articles said it was. And it, it, that, that's misinformation as well. But I'm not here to chastise that. I chose not to cover that because the way that it seemed they were trying to figure out who voiced what in the game seemed like a really flawed process, and I don't know how nobody else seemed to notice how flawed that process was. But anyways, I chose not to cover that, but what that did lead me down was the rabbit hole of finding out, hey, I had heard the demo was the complete game and that the demo has leaked. All you gotta do is remove the 15 minute timer. Also, I noticed a few of our users mentioning to me that they were getting their retail copies early, even from Amazon. So I sat there and I said, I need to see if Mario Wonder has leaked online. Now, I was all over the Tears of the Kingdom stuff back in the day. You guys know this. And I know, I remember distinctly how Tears of the Kingdom leaked. All right. To give you an idea, before the day before all the reports came out about Tears of the Kingdom leaking and it being widely available and you're seeing live streams everywhere, the day before that happened, in actuality, the game had already leaked. It was on a Discord server. There was only one to two people actively doing private live streams on it, and one link being shared with very, very few people actually playing the ROM file, but the ROM file existed and was technically out there, and obviously once it's out there, it's only a matter of time before it becomes massively and widely available. So. It's interesting because I saw people say, oh, it's not out there unless this website says it or that website says it. I'm like, no, that's when the file hits the public servers. When you're talking about a private distribution, it's not really like that. So I saw somebody playing a ROM file. They literally went to desktop and then loaded up an emulator and played the file. So like, I knew someone was playing a ROM file on a private Discord server. Now, how did I find this private Discord server? What did I do? Well, whenever you want to find things that maybe you shouldn't be looking for because it can be dangerous, I went to 4chan. And yeah, I spent over three hours scouring 4chan, digging through fake claims of it leaking, all of that, to find a link to a Discord server that when I joined, sure as shit, Mario Wonder was there and being shared. I didn't download the file to confirm. I saw the person load it from desktop into an emulator. That was good enough for me to say it's going to leak because this is exactly what happened with Tears of the Kingdom the day or really hours before it massively hit online. And then guess what happened uh, roughly about 10 hours after I put my video up? 
It was massively and widely available online. But there were distinct people going down in my comment section, their comments getting 20, 30, 40 plus likes, being like, fake news, game didn't leak, you gotta stop being misleading, you're not doing your research. And it turns out, no, I actually did do my research and was on top of this before it became widely available. The point of that was obviously to warn people about spoilers. And now you're seeing today a bunch of websites, a bunch of uh, videos going up about the leak, even though it happened late last night where uh, it, it became widely available, but it was actually available before then. And there's probably people People down in the comment section right now that can tell you that they were one of the select early people that maybe was dealing with it before it became fully public. I have a process when I'm covering news of trying to really, really dig into things. And I don't, I am not perfect. I am not infallible. And it's kind of like this article here. It's not perfect. It's not infallible. And it made a claim to get clicks that isn't supported by anything in the actual article and i try not to do that even when i'm calling a rumor a leak at least what's in the title is actually talked about and shown in the video i always am super transparent about all of this stuff even if you know you mix up the rumor and leak buzzwords out there to try to get clicks i know all about getting clicks this video was probably titled in a way to get clicks it, it's just it's interesting to me to watch um a lot of harsh judgment come down on people like me, and this happens to other content creators as well, as well, who work very hard to verify and do our best to bring you guys the best information. Our interpretation of information isn't always the best. We don't always have the best takes, and we clearly make mistakes. As I said, a bunch of people sharing, you know, who was the voice actor of Mario in the Mario Wonder game, and then it turned out that that was completely incorrect. We're not perfect. We're not infallible. We all make mistakes. I mean, I think it was uh, one of my good buddies, RGT85, yesterday, who put up a video about Best Buy and, and, and something about them removing video games, and that's not what they're doing. So that was misinformation as well. They're removing movies and DVDs, and it was already announced by Best Buy. But again, at the time that he was making the video, he had to work with the currently available information and the website wasn't loading. And he showed the website wasn't loading the original source because it was being overloaded. So I, I don't even blame him for that. It, we, we make those kind of mistakes when it starts to spread because it did. Originally, when those Best Buy stuff came out, it started to spread that, oh, no, they're removing all physical media, including video games. That wasn't actually what the rumor was. That wasn't actually what was being said. And then when Best Buy came out and confirmed it, again, they reconfirmed they're not removing video games. I, I, I just... I think we need to do a, maybe not jump to conclusions so much. Uh, in the case of the story of the leak, the primary reason I was probably getting called out yesterday was because I did not provide a source to the leaks down in the description. But there's a reason I didn't provide a source because in order to provide a source, say a link to the Discord or whatever, or to even show you the Discord on screen, I could be risking Nintendo coming after me. This is a very serious thing. Nintendo hates that their games leak out there, and it is illegal. I am not going to provide links to illegal things, and I'm not going to show where you can get access to those illegal things on my screen. So I mentioned a Discord server. I'm not going to show you it. I'm not going to show you how to get to it. I can explain how I found it, but that's about it. Like, guys, this is a process of protecting myself while still trying to provide you the most up-to-date information. And that's what I do here at my channel. I try to provide you as up-to-date information as I can. It might be some bad takes, might be some inaccuracies here or there, and I might make a reference or say something that's wrong, and you guys are awesome at correcting me, and I really appreciate it. But I, what, what I don't appreciate, obviously, is when people are, man, fake news, you're such a bad journalist. You're such a bad this. Meanwhile, not only was I correct the entire time, um, I did research that you didn't and you weren't aware of. And I think it's important that we remember that we don't all know everything, and that includes myself. And when I make mistakes, I comp to them. I comp to the issues I've, I've had in the past. I comp to, um, I think it's an important part of growth. So, Next time you want to yell at a content creator about fake news or this isn't real or yada, 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 maybe check their sources. And if they don't provide any, maybe decide if you want to put in the research to find out if it's real or not. Checking around on social media and, and clicking a few websites isn't enough, especially for stuff like this when people are sharing illegal files. All right, guys. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, hopefully nobody believes this absolutely fake story. Someone probably does, unfortunately. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video.